segment we usually call higher or lower, but today, Cynthia, it's... Hoher oder unter. Hoher oder unter. Right. Ich bin eine Katze. <laughs> Cynthia's been working on her German. Uh, we're going to give you the opportunity to do so as well because you get projections on NFL.com. Cynthia's going to tell you whether or not her projections are higher or lower than the numbers that you have, starting with one. To a tongue of Iloa as we look to this Dolphins Chiefs matchup in Germany. I mean, look, look, my paw doesn't really work for this, so I'm going to have to use my human finger. This one's uh, going to be what we call a, uh, oh my goodness, star. You know, Whoop. this star is not very good. There we go. Indoor there cats don't ever have to draw stars. This is pretty much equal to his projected points for me. I have 17.7, which is 274, two touchdowns and one pick. When I'm looking at Kansas City's defense, remember that they're allowing the fifth fewest fantasy points per game to the quarterback position. So this number is still quite high. All right. Well, congratulations to Tua Tagovailoa and the people who make the projections. And by the way, what is equal? Glyke. 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 Glyke is equal. I'm trying to... Just in case, we need to know some more German. Uh, Jalen Waddle, we've been waiting for his points to rise. Will they rise above 14.3 in Frankfurt? On I told you, this is a good defense, right? So Jalen Waddle's forecasted projection for me is 12.4. Still double digits, still a nice projection. Even though he's had three receiving touchdowns over the past four games, I'm going to say that this secondary, and especially a former Husky named Trent McDuffie, he's going to be a problem in this one for Jalen Waddle. All right, Unter for Jalen Waddle. Unter, there. good job. What about Isaiah Pacheco, his opportunities in Frankfurt against the Finns defense, which has not necessarily been that great? No, it has but I still have Unter here. Why? Well, when I'm looking at the opportunity against this defense, they're going to be ready for what Pacheco does. Remember I told you yesterday, they have some weird splits, meaning on third and short, they're not very good. On third and long, they're much better. So I'm looking at Isaiah Pacheco, and I'm looking at how Miami preps, and for me, the projection looks more like 61 rush and two for 15, meaning no touchdown, which would be the difference to get you up higher than to get you a hoo hair. All right, so another chance at Hohair. We know the Spatzel, of course, is popular, but what about the rice in Germany? Higher or lower than 10 uh, points? We gotta change it. Oh, it's red because it's the Chiefs. I think this one is like, well, is this pen, me and this pen today. Cats don't ever have to draw stars. Glyke! Glyke! It's equal. It's a stern. That's a star. Well, we love this because when I'm looking at the opportunity here for Rice, five for 52. Now the touchdown is there. It's pretty close. It's like 0.4, which doesn't round up to one, which means we keep it down there. So this is actually a median projection. I think it could be even higher for Rice. I get it, Jalen. Ramsey is back, but you know what? I think those intermediate passes for Patrick Mahomes will prove to be too much. All right.